I'm Paulita, and I'm an engineer at Snowflake. We believe that using AI to get more out of your data should be simple. So I'm really excited to show you about how Snowflake is using large language models to help you get more out of your data and put your unstructured documents to work. Let's check it out. For this demo, I'm going to play the role of a data engineer at Ski Gear Co., a company that manufactures ski goggles. We want to make sure that we're manufacturing those ski goggles at the expected volumes on time. But recently, we've been having some problems with our injection molding machine. Let's check it out. To better manage maintenance windows and prevent machine downtime, I'll use Snowflake to analyze inspection forms to see a full history of issues to the injection molder, when they occurred, and why. First, I've created a project called Machine Inspections and uploaded monthly inspection PDFs. This is built directly into the native Snowflake UI. Right now, we have enough documents to get started, but I can always add more if needed. These documents contain a mix of fields and free text, which makes analyzing them very time consuming and error prone, or requires machine learning expertise. But Snowflake's new document AI which is currently in private preview, makes this easy and accurate with no ML expertise required. By default, it's using a zero shot model, which just means I can get good results without training the model, but I can still fine tune it if I need to. On the right, we see a preview of one of the documents I've uploaded. To start extracting information, I can just type my questions in plain English. You can see we've already asked questions like, when did the inspection happen? Who performed the inspection? Notice here that Document AI can even read a signature. What was the inspection grade? And now let's ask what part was defective? To answer, Snowflake is using a first party large language model to provide an answer along with a confidence score, all with no code required. I can flip through the documents to see how the model is performing. Here we can see that the model is reporting a defective part, but in the document, there were no issues found in inspection. What's especially powerful is that I can correct the answer to none and click Start Training. In Snowflake, we use this feedback to fine tune the model. Now we can publish the model so we can apply it to analyze the full set of inspection documents. Other teams will even be able to use it for inference. In the interest of time for this demo, I've already published the fine-tuned model into my account. Using a simple SQL query, I can call the model now to analyze the inspection documents in one go. We can see that the injection molding machine has failed inspection every three months over the past year. We can share this insight with our quality engineering team to make sure we're performing maintenance every two to three months to prevent future failures. Plus, now other data engineers, analysts, and developers at the company can programmatically call the fine-tuned model. And now what if we want to process new inspection documents using this model? The great thing is that everything is integrated into the Snowflake platform. We just create a pipeline with streams and tasks that calls the model and set it up to run every time there's a new document. And I've even set up an alert so that I'll receive an email whenever an inspection fails. In addition, we can even use Document AI on text-heavy documents, like warranties or contracts, to see if the injection molder repairs are covered. Looks like this warranty is valid until November 2023, so we might even get some money back. To recap what we just did, we analyzed PDF documents using Snowflake's large language model and used natural language and just a few clicks rather than code to get the data that we needed. And then we were able to fine tune that model to get better results. And then I was able to publish that so the rest of my org can use that model as well. And finally, I created a pipeline so that I could actually use this on new documents that come in and get emails if a document fails in the future. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like more information on Document AI, check out Snowflake's blog.